thank you very much uh, for giving us the uh, opportunity to make a uh, Kawasaki cement uh, waste recovery system and its, its history. Uh, somebody said in this morning, uh, Chinese people uh, making history already, but uh, I think Japanese made a history first. <laughs> And, uh, uh, sorry, Mr. Wang. Keep it in with my friend uh, from uh, China. And uh, when I talk about uh, Kawasaki, name of Kawasaki, maybe some of you uh, just remember the big motorcycle going around in European street, but uh, that is only one aspect. Kawasaki has a uh, major division uh, for industry, and I'd say uh, uh, like uh, six major uh, uh, division uh, uh, is uh, uh, here except for a motorcycle division. Uh, just I'd like to get a small uh, introduction about uh, Kawasaki first. Uh, this figure is uh, from last year 2011 and Kawasaki started a uh, business by uh, a shipbuilding and uh, it started in the year 18, <coughs> 1890, uh, more than one year ago. And the uh, second, rolling stock uh, department has uh, uh, its production, uh, biggest production in Japan. It's very famous from its bullet, bullet train, uh, exporting to uh, China, uh, the US, and Brazil, and even to UK. And the aerospace department has uh, its production already before World War II. And uh, now they are working together with Boeing and making a uh, uh, main body of uh, Boeing 777 and also 787. And we have a prime mover uh, division. Uh, they started uh, you know, uh, from uh, equipment of uh, marine propulsion first. And uh, they had their own gas turbine design and steam turbine and uh, gas engines. They are cooperating with us uh, front engine division very closely. And the precision machinery department, it means uh, uh, robotics. Uh, they have a uh, very big share in Japan for making uh, welding robot, painting robot, especially for uh, automobile industry. And this is plant engineering division. It started in uh, the 1950s uh, to manufacture the equipment for cement industries and chemical industry and boilers and power plants. Uh, this title is Kawasaki Global Solution. Why is Global Solution? Because uh, we started this business model in 1980 uh, through the development done together with uh, Japanese cement manufacturers. And uh, this Global Solution, Cement Waste Recovery, has been, I think, uh, deeply recognized by the market for saving energy and also uh, making a good contribution to reduce uh, carbon dioxide emission. And, uh, uh, sorry, I forgot to place my photo. And this is a uh, uh, subtitle of my uh, uh, presentation. I will go uh, one by one. First, I have to introduce about the Kawasaki Plant Engine Company and the uh, cement waste recovery uh, business. As I said, uh, uh, this uh, company uh, started the uh, 1950s to manufacture equipment for cement industry and also boilers and power plant. And uh, uh, around 30 years after that, uh, we started the development for uh, cement waste heat recovery and uh, we call it uh, hybrid technology between uh, cement industry and the power industry. Uh, why can Kawasaki do this? Because uh, we had uh, both technology in one hand. Uh, so the picture from our cement plant engineering division. They already completed uh, more than 50 uh, cement uh, plant uh, in the world. And uh, very recently they merged the uh, IHI cement plant into division. That's why they are only one uh, uh, EPC contractor for cement in Japan. And uh, close to Europe, we had uh, some references in North Africa, also in Middle East. And those are from our plant, uh, uh, power plant division. And talking about the power plant division, uh, we had uh, more than 700 uh, fuel fire boiler uh, plant in the world, uh, 
running like uh, barbarized coal, heavy fuel oil, like uh, oil cokes, or even uh, they start to burn uh, a biomass recently. And uh, this is uh, our uh, reference in the Philippines, uh, coal-fired power plant with uh, 200 megawatt. Uh, we uh, uh, did it uh, for uh, full tanky. And talking about uh, waste heat recovery system, we did more than 1,000 uh, uh, waste heat recovery plant in the world. And this is an example uh, from Brazil. This is a coal carbon waste heat recovery system with uh, 200 megawatt. We did that uh, in full tanky basis also. And this is the main purpose of me uh, to speak about uh, Kawasaki cement waste heat recovery system. <coughs> Actually, uh, maybe if you guys are a little bit different uh, from the presentation done by uh, 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 in this morning, uh, I was uh, 180, more than 180 uh, waste heat recovery power plant uh, uh, in the world. And uh, our expertise is we use uh, not a uh, uh, organic ranking cycle, not a Kalina cycle, but a uh, steam ranking cycle. And it's very conservative, but uh, you know, it's reliable and well experienced. Uh, thanks to a lot of you know, experience done in a summer power plant uh, before. Uh, just uh, making a, a wrap up, we did uh, more than 50 uh, cement uh, uh, plant construction in the world establishing a global cement plant in during capability and also we did uh, more than 700 uh, fuel fire boiler with uh, more than 1000 waste heat recovery boiler plant in the world establishing a global uh, summer power plant engineering capability together with a specialized boiler development uh, for predator boiler and AQC boiler also together with the uh, uh, latest steam water cycle technology came to uh, Kawasaki Cement West Heat Boiler Development uh, with successful uh, expansion. Uh, what's new in this technology? Uh, I know it's very new in Kalina cycle or in Kranky cycle, but uh, uh, steam water cycle has uh, the uh, uh, everyday uh, improvement. Uh, what is the uh, latest technology in line with industrial trend? Many clients ask for uh, higher efficiency. Yes, we did already from the beginning. Uh, our system has a, a dual uh, pressure system with vacuum pressure. We uh, could even triple or more uh, mul uh, multiple pressure system is available if it's concluded by the customer as unpayable. And recently, uh, many clients ask for waterless or uh, waste waterless plan because of requirement from local authority, for instance. Uh, we do this, uh, you know, use uh, uh, air-cooled condenser to keep a least water consumption. And uh, many uh, clients uh, now uh, <laughs> tend to uh, be required to ban a secondary fuel or alternative fuel, so-called waste derived fuel. In our case, we have a lot of experience to supply waste heat boiler for municipality waste uh, incinerator and recently such an application project has been ongoing for cement waste heat and a lot more is coming up about the environmental requirement and we will be always listening to a client uh, uh, and uh, uh, respect uh, their what should I say, uh, preference and this is just a summary in terms of the engineering inside our company uh, based upon cement plant construction experience with more than 50 uh, cement factories done in the world with proven reliable technology and uh, all based upon more than 1,000 experience of uh, waste heat recovery plant uh, being specialized in cement process and operation. And again, our base is uh, steam water cycle. And conservative uh, but reliable and experienced technology with the latest uh, cycle technology, boiler technology, and the plant engineering capability. The last not, but not the least, no negative operational influence to cement plant operation is very important things, I think. Uh, those are the very fundamental uh, baseline of Kawasaki waste recovery system. Just a little touch on our uh, world record. 
As I said, uh, 181 plants have been uh, done in the world since uh, 1982. Starting from Japan, uh, spread to uh, Korea and China, and did uh, uh, so many in Southeast Asia, and some India, some Pakistan, and recently we came to Europe, one in Germany, one in Turkey, covering uh, uh, more than 200 uh, 70 kilowatts is total uh, per output uh, more than 2 million kilowatts. And contribution to uh, carbon dioxide reaction would be like uh, uh, 15 uh, million tons per year. And uh, uh, you know, uh, out of that uh, 181, in the last three years, uh, since 2009, 123 has been uh, boosted. And uh, this is a, a table uh, only for those uh, recent three years. And China uh, has a uh, you know, big portion booming up in these three years. But the rest of it, 13 uh, plant is uh, done in Southeast Asia and in Europe. And I'd like to touch a bit on uh, legendary waste meat recovery boiler technology. Why it's so legendary? Because we started uh, this business already uh, in the 1950s, uh, starting from waste to recovery of steel plant. And like uh, 30 years after that, we started waste to recovery uh, for incinerator of municipal waste. And did some for gas turbine, this is called the uh, mine cycle, and came to this red one. It started, as I said, uh, from 1980, but uh, in the uh, last uh, five to six years, it's really booming up like this. And this is the number of uh, boiler plants we supplied, more than 500 for uh, cement plant, more than 1,000 for uh, in total, and we did around 93 for incinerator municipal waste. And what is very special on such a waste recovery? It just depends upon the characteristic of the uh, dust itself. Uh, whether it's uh, sticky or not sticky, or uh, abrasive or not abrasive, uh, according to the temperature of exhaust gas. Horizontal line stands for uh, inlet temperature, uh, vertical stands for dust concentration. All those uh, just depends upon the process. And this yellow one uh, is uh, from uh, uh, steel industry, Next one is from non-metal process. Next one is from chemical process. Then blue one is uh, for cement plant. A suspension pressure in this case, uh, is uh, more than 100, 100 uh, gram per normal cubic meter with around uh, 350 uh, degree centigrade. And for air quality cooler, it has uh, uh, 10 to 15 gram per normal cubic meter with a temperature like 250. Uh, how it specialized in our uh, preheater boiler? This is uh, just a uh, schematic uh, side view. We have a uh, gas flow uh, going horizontally with a uh, vertical arrangement of tube. With a uh, hammer system uh, installed at the bottom of the tube with a uh, hammering system moving like this. And it will be easy to have the dust uh, to, collect it, to be collected uh, underneath, and uh, this dust uh, will be transported to homogeneous silo, for instance, to be reused. I would say this is almost a kind of standard design in the field of cement waste heat recovery boiler, and uh, this kind of concept can be, I think, applicable even for organic cranking cycle or carina cycle. This is a uh, uh, know-how about the boiler design itself. This is how it looked like uh, at site, and this is close to located uh, preheated tower. In case you don't have uh, a certain place, we can even put this one within the preheated tower. And this is about our AQC boiler. Uh, exhaust gas uh, coming from the top to the bottom with a horizontal arrangement of the heat transfer tubes. But thanks to a uh, different uh, characteristic of the uh, quicker dust, we can use a, a thin tube. That's why we can have such a very compact and a very uh, 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 small little quantities needed. 
And uh, because of the uh, modular design of our AQC uh, boiler, we can realize a very compact and easy installation at site. And then I'd like to touch uh, on some project uh, in the name of Global Solution. We saw the five uh, plants uh, as a uh, kind of typical uh, history. First one is the most historic and legendary uh, Kawasaki cement uh, waste pit recovery from Taiheo cement. Why it's so historic and legendary? Because it started operation in 1982 uh, with 15 megawatt for 12,000 tons per day. What's very special is it's continued operation more than 30 years after it started operation in uh, 1982. And uh, a key point on operation maintenance is steam generator fuse has never been replaced since it started operation in 1982. About uh, uh, superheater tubes, uh, it's been a little bit maintained in the year 2005 and 6. Uh, due to the introduction of the secondary fuel in the queue. As of uh, this year, 2012, the cement plant, as well as waste recovery, is continuing a normal related operation uh, without uh, any problem. Next example is about the uh, second largest reference uh, plant uh, uh, in Korea called the Sunshin cement, covering uh, three cubes. Uh, with uh, a power output of uh, 30.55 megawatt. It's now under commission and uh, will be put in a commercial operation uh, this year. And this is a recent uh, Japanese reference uh, done by Taiheo Cement. This case covering uh, three kilns uh, with 17.3 uh, megawatt started operation last year. The point I have to say on this project is it was promoted by the government. The name of NEDO project, New Energy and Industrial Technology Development Organization. And uh, uh, here comes to the European reference. It's in Turkey, uh, Shimsa, uh, covering uh, two kilns with uh, 8.7 megawatt. And now under commission will start a commercial operation within this year. And this is a memorable contract we find together with Conchi Cement. You know, Conchi Cement is the biggest cement manufacturer in China. And uh, at that time, uh, for 11 plants, at the same time covering uh, 21 kilns with a total power of 189 megawatt, uh, started operation in year 2006 and 7. Uh, after completing uh, this project, Constament decided to have a uh, joint venture together with Kawasaki for manufacturing boiler in China, also to make an engineering for waste heat recovery. After they made that decision, uh, they started to build a waste heat recovery plant uh, in almost all their cement plant, uh, one by one. Uh, coming to the end, in the year of uh, 2011, uh, this figure shows the 300 and 350 million US dollar per year as an uh, uh, energy saving. And I have to talk about uh, reliability and availability of existing cement uh, waste heat recovery plant. I picked up the data from Conchi Cement uh, in Ningbo plant, uh, it's a uh, number one plant and number three plant. Uh, first one was constructed in 1998, and uh, number three was constructed in uh, 2006. And this chart shows uh, uh, power output. For number one, with a uh, guaranteed power output uh, of uh, 6,480 kilowatt, also with a uh, uh, power output confirmation uh, of 7,061 at the time of performance test. Uh, you look at those dots, uh, just uh, uh, almost more than 10 percent higher than the guarantee power output in this long run, six years. And for number three, we have 9.1 megawatt guarantee and 9.45 megawatt uh, confirmed in the performance test. Uh, most of data is uh, more than 15 percent more than the guarantee figure. 
keeping uh, in certain long run means uh, it uh, just shows uh, uh, quite a big uh, reliability of our West Heat recovery plant. And uh, somebody talking about the reliability and availability this morning, this is uh, a chart showing uh, reliability uh, of our West Heat recovery. Green one uh, shows a monthly operating hour of uh, cement plant, and yellow one stands for uh, uh, monthly operating uh, hours uh, for West Heat recovery. And we have here like a 99.5 percent reliability, not availability, in two years long. And this is something about uh, uh, power output. Uh, sorry, this is not from an Ingo, but uh, from Linjo plant. And power output is uh, 5,690 kilowatt for two years operation. Even together with some fluctuation of quinca uh, uh, production, uh, we can keep. Uh, almost uh, like a guarantee power out for such a long run. And uh, came to the lap of the most recent uh, uh, West Street recovery. This strategic position is uh, not only for steam ranking cycle but also applicable to ranking, uh, uh, organic ranking cycle and also cabinet cycle. When you have such a West Street recovery, plant uh, payout time period shall be two to six years in such a range on uh, electricity, electricity cost and the capacity of the kiln. And the profitability of waste recovery uh, will not be undermined due to possible fuel cost uh, increase in future. And uh, more likely future electricity cost increase will enhance profitability. In the end, least risk on project profitability is our idea. And uh, especially from Kawasaki, I would say long time experience and superiority of Kawasaki cement West Street recovery with the uh, longest safe and uh, uh, turbulent operation record more than 30 years from 1982 uh, with a 15 megawatt for uh, 12,000 tons per uh, day. And uh, 11 plants uh, has been running uh, safely more than 20 years uh, from operation starts. And uh, conventional steam water cycle, steam ranking cycle, least risk of equipment travel, easy operation of the conventional steam water cycle power plant, I would say. And in the end, uh, you know, uh, many clients are asking a uh, uh, lot of requirement for environmental issues. Uh, least environmental impact, this is very important. Also, least uh, noise emission, this is always asked and no chemical substance emission and uh, no contaminant emission. In the end, I'll say conservative steam ranking cycle is most reliable and easy maintainable. And uh, ordinary steam turbine ensures uh, conventional but higher performance. Thank you very much for your kind attention. Thank you very much indeed for your presentation. Um, are there any questions from the floor? Thank you very much. Uh, in the AQC boiler, as I as shown in your presentation, if you can show the picture again. Uh, the direction of the flow, of the gas flow, uh, was downward, and you said that you use the fin tubes. Uh, so how about the precipitation of the clinker dust, which is abrasive, and uh, uh, also uh, with the fin tubes, there's a possibility of the coagulation of this material inside the fins, and uh, how, because in the other boiler, pre-heater boiler, you had the horizontal direction of gas, and also the precipitation chamber at the uh, entrance. While in the pre boiler you use the simple steel tubes. Uh, so right. how do you solve this uh, precipitation of the clinker dust which is included in the great cooler gas usually? I understand your question. Is, what, is it clear my question? Uh, I understand your question. Uh, you know, in case of AQC boiler, it's not uh, you know, uh, shown in the screen, but uh, we have a pre duster before uh, coming to uh, AQC boiler. And uh, so even with a horizontal fin tube, we don't see 
so many processes uh, deposit on the thin tube uh, so that uh, it will be uh, disturbed on the heat transfer uh, uh, efficient uh, uh, from the gas to the steam. That's why we can run uh, like this uh, in Taideo for uh, more than three, uh, sorry, 30 years long operation without any problem. That's also included uh, uh, AQC boiler and uh, the lasting system too. So uh, yes, it shows uh, uh, by our experience of operation. And uh, if you have any more specific question, maybe I should talk about uh, with the drawing, uh, but not this time. Uh, you will be welcome to Japan uh, to make some detailed explanation about our boiler. It's very boiler technology. Next question. Uh, Joe, I want some consulting. Mr. Yeah. Shobayashi, you uh, are the supplier with the longest uh, experience in this sector. And uh, I would like to ask you whether you can share some information with us about let me say, how plant availability and reliability has changed over time. Well, you know, uh, if cement plant operation is disturbed by uh, something else, it's a different story. But uh, as long as it's going on, our plant uh, not have any uh, specific trouble except for some very initial trouble uh, which we may uh, have uh, during the commission time period. Uh, after finishing and uh, taking over uh, to the client, uh, normally we don't see any serious effect uh, to uh, undermine uh, reliability or uh, availability. Is this a good answer for you? Is this is from one only one line. You got it. Point something. Yeah, point something. Three kilns. You got it in one side. Thirty megawatt, huh? Just, just to clarify, I've seen that, and, and cement plant operators can easily run and maintain uh, waste heat recovery plants. And I've seen your case. I, I think when you were in Japan, I think you had a look and visited uh, that Taideo plant, no? Yeah. And uh, you, you already got an information from the client. And, uh, you know, it's such a thermal power plant uh, is a such a low, I would say, pressure and temperature compared to the, like, a certain like a 300 megawatt or even 600 megawatt or even 800 megawatt uh, uh, burning uh, uh, power plant. Uh, it's just a miniature and the low temperature, low pressure can uh, ensure a very reliable operation compared to such a utility power uh, company. That's right. I'm from uh, you know, thermal power engineering and thinking this is uh, very, what should I say, uh, going with uh, less maintenance and uh, less uh, uh, trouble compared to the bigger you know, utility power plant. So if you compare the operation of uh, cement plant itself, uh, if it's going uh, without the program, we can, or this uh, system can provide you uh, the uh, promised power output uh, 
uh, as it's from uh, uh, original specification, I would say. So that's all uh, the time we have for questions, so uh, please join with me in thanking once again Mr. Shelley.